everyone, welcome to Spins and Poker Deals. Today I'll be playing some Spins, $25. As usual, if you haven't seen the previous streams, we have some good highlights on YouTube. Recommend going over there. There'll be some tips uh, in the highlights that should help you enormously. Um, yeah, we launched our Discord server. Uh, I'll write it in the chat so that you guys can get the link. We'll be in there. Um, Every day, basically, if you want to chat poker, chat about our posts, uh, discuss anything uh, with regard to the streams, I'll be going there after this stream. Um, but yeah, just join us in there. Going to pull up some games, see what we get. Uh, didn't have such a great session this morning. I think it was like f just a small one, 40 minutes. Uh, I think I only won one game or not even one game. So that was not so fun, but that means we're going to have a good stream. Uh, let's see here. All right, perfect. Uh, just gonna load up the games. See what we get. Poor monthly bonus again on stars, 10%, no joy. I guess uh, I was running pretty good before since I was in the test group and was getting 40% religiously before they rolled it out, so can't complain. Really like the new uh, graphics on the stars, the stars tables, very festive. Not sure what all those drinks are, but very fun. Also, if you're playing spins, be aware of these leaderboards here. They're a bit sneaky. They make you click join every time. So like every time you play for a leaderboard on the day, you have to, I think this one, okay. you have to join. Uh, a little bit of extra value. I was surprised actually. I didn't think I'd be winning very much in there, but uh, it seems like I was getting a tiny bit back, so... Good range advantage on the left there with the ASX board. We see betting that practically always. Let's see. Ace, queen, easy raise. Easy call. Oh, that's a good flop. Nice. Um, pretty draw heavy board, this 10 6 3. But players in general are just not really check raising out of uh, enough or with good frequencies. So I think you can be over C betting quite a bunch against population. I don't recognize his name. 3x here on the button. Don't really want to be taking that strategy in general. And a very good board for us. Um, just wondering whether we just want to raise. Not sure how bluff heavy is going to be on paired boards. Um, I think we will just raise. We're probably not getting some barrels off him. And we want to keep in like everything we can get value from. Yeah. Just wondering whether that's the highest EV. I think he calls every continuation hand to my raise there almost, so. And raise. I really do have a trash hand. I'm gonna get some good barrels on this King's 9 7. I don't know this guy, so I'm just gonna take low sizings. This music is really loud in my ears, seeing if I'm going to be able to lower this. It's pretty low. Uh, that is not a good barrel card. Snap double X's. Well, like 8 6 and diamonds get there. I know we've bucked diamonds, but I can't really call with King High here, so. That would be pretty ambitious. This would be a bit wide, I think. Uh, 
Right, not a bad board. Not really much we can bet against though. Blocking some of the draws. Not the, not the greatest river. But uh, we will be bluff catching on rivers. Hand is just a bluff catcher. Can we bet for value? Is it going to call with king high? Probably doesn't even bet some of his queen highs here. Um, we're chopping with all seven, so like whatever. It's nine x again. Don't know anything about this guy. Haven't made any bets. some festive wins. Good start though with the games. Seem to be unknowns, people I don't recognize. Obviously a great board to see you bet there with the ace king queen, sorry ace queen five. I think I know nothing about this guy's ISO range, so just gonna start off playing 100%. People have to be ISOing pretty huge there to not want to do it. I was considering ISO the old 7 3 off, but I think against this type of opponent, we don't really need to. Ten. Definitely can get called by worse. Let's go, Ronnie. Again, 100% C bet, Ace Ace 2. Probably barreling it off as well if he wants to call me with his 2x or King High. He can. Alright. First one in the bag. Good start to the session. Again, don't recognize names. This is this is good for us. Talking about that last week uh, in the highlights, basically, you know, know your opponents, change your ranges a bit. Don't follow GTO at all. Like, just think, what is the highest EV against this opponent? Forget everything you know. Normally I would go like four and a half here, but exploitatively I'm going four, just in case they do manage to fold. I'm still betting this board, bunch of draws. I think they're all calling with any pair, any draw. Uh, what do I want to do here? I might go for. A Check. Every draw misses. Probably not getting called by a 10. So. And my hand is just super good. Question is do I want to check call, check shove? jams his draws so he's probably a bit more value heavy when he bets that size and he probably can't fold for the rest because I think if he has like some kind of draw maybe he probably just jams uh, this is obviously good draws in here. I'm going to call and reevaluate turn. That's a safe turn. Calling all in for sure. Checks now. Pretty strange. I want to put an amount where 
they feel like they have to cool. So it's just bluffing. Um, lots of back doors here with a 10 6 of diamonds. So. if I actually hit the diamond. Uh, it looks like he has some sort of... He's either trapping, he has a queen, or he's got like some under pair. Uh, shame, shame I have... Uh, it's a shame that I have the 10, block some of the 10s, but um, we just don't know what he's doing, so I think it's fine. It's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, no idea what this guy's doing, and we're going to face a shove, and we're going to have to... Fold. Okay, so this is good. Um, no need to raise, I don't think. We can just see our equity and just bluff him off rivers. There's a lot of bad rivers for him. And this is obviously the one we want. An easy call. 9-5. Okay. Really good start. Again, just not recognizing any names here. Coming up against a lot of people I don't recognize. Which is always good to see. Maybe everybody's around for the Christmas games. Um, easy jump there. Wow. Getting lucky with the 8. We'll take it. 75 in the bag. And again, names I don't recognize. I don't think I've ever seen them. So we've got Capo on two tables. I don't recognize the name. He's playing two, it could be a wreck. Uh, this board really doesn't hit the small blind range. I think I can just see bet exploitatively here. Um, mm -mm. Random low ace X's from Fish may call. Some backdoor um, suited broadways. I blocked the King X of those, which is quite nice. The 10 is not a great card, but it's five. I'm kind of thinking to just shove bluff, but I don't really know what we can do here. It might be a bit of an overplay. It can be quite nice. It's definitely tempted to, at least. It's definitely tempted to. So, guy raises, checks ace 9 9, pretty standard, always has something. Uh, when someone can bluff and they don't, pretty much always going to see showdown hand or traps. And queen high is not doing very good against that. Could I start raising, turning it into a bluff? Possibly. Um, back for value there. Just see bang here. He's going to have some king highs, but the fact we have diamonds and spades is pretty nice for us. Juices his cool range. I think I'm going to bet for value again here. Uh, that is a good run out. I don't think I need to go too big. I want to make it look like I can have a king as well. If he has a two, fine. If he calls it a five, fine. Yeah. Hmm. Capo, capo, capo. We're doing pretty well here. I'm just going to go for a value bet. I mean, if he checked back an ace pre, then that's okay. Aces. Can one BB bet this board, but it just doesn't hit the range so hard of the big blind. It's just folding almost always in a spot that I kind of want a bit more chips. Let's make a super small bet. Um. Just going to raise with any flush anyway. Just want to get paid by a seven. chips there, I think. Jack four 
suited. All right, ace queen at this stack depth, perfect. Um, let's see, have some back doors here. that quickly bet worse than this so can't really turn it into a bluff like like a 10 or a 9 but then we should probably bluff catch yeah. bit of an interesting spot playing the Christmas tunes, but Twitch does not allow copyrighted music. Oh damn, I didn't realize he had 7BB. Yeah, so that was, um, like, it's going to seem pretty silly to think about that spot, but when someone has like 5BB in the min raise and you see them on multiple tables, they're probably just have the nuts. Not saying I would fold, <laughs> but definitely pay attention to it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Producer Nicole has probably delivered us some Christmas music here. Let's see, let's see what we've got. Let's get those tunes on. We've been playing them in the office since the first. Managed to convince Matt. Uh, let's go. All right, let's see what these no copyright tunes bring us. Let's see if this is any good. Sounds festive enough. All in, okay. Again, two players I don't recognize. This is some Christmas joy right here. Softest games I've seen for a while. raising for value, we'd limp this against regs. Hello Sushant, how's it going in Mumbai? Sushant is one of our colleagues, he's currently in Mumbai celebrating his sister's wedding taking place over Christmas. Don't know if we can value better than 9 8 there. Ooh, classic flip. Come on! Damn. Christmas is by far my favourite time of year. I can feel the joy in the air. Yes, we look forward to having you back. Feels a bit empty in the office in our department. If you see all those wonderful designs on our thumbnails and on Instagram, Sushant has a big part of those. Uh, so you can thank him. A uh, bunch of draws here, there's not that many 6x, obviously draws come in. Uh, yeah, not really much to be done now. Could check call that flop, but I think we just achieve a lot by sea betting. I think I'm just going to go for value rather than check raising. It's going to have a lot of 3x, 2x, 4x, 6x that want to continue. If he has 3x and 2x was it, he might just check. And then it's going to be difficult to get value on the later streets. Uh, pretty easy shove with the 7s. bit of a 
piano tune here. I really have to get mine fixed. Okay, green suited. I'm just going to call. We'll defend the flop. Pretty chunky bet. doesn't look worried, does he? Um, I know this guy's been raising range against regs who are fairly open. I would probably raise this, but um, just cool. Snap call. Um, sucks that we have a club because probably snap calls with some clubs um, but I, I'm blocking flushes so calls with two pair no problem for Mr. Nauru snap calling maybe that was interesting Mr. Nauru Did we just get called by 10-9 there? Well, that was horrific, wasn't it? That's what you want to see. Um, the only reason for betting here would be equity protection. It can be a valid reason, but I think I'm just going to check that. Obviously, counterfeits us, which is pretty bad. Um, mm -mm -mm. I could turn my hand into a blob. Quality tune. Uh, nutcracker. Wow. EV. Oh no. That's not so good. Very soft games. This is a dream. EV will be high in these for sure. Wouldn't ordinarily, but it seems like he's playing way too wide, this guy. Wish we were suited and booted. Um, he's called. We still have good outs versus one pair. Uh, just dead now. Don't be frightened of your sizings with your big hands against limpers on the button. They're generally fish. They will. Cool. This Maru is killing us so far. I'm predicting a check raise. <laughs> Obviously calling. Bad turn. Hits his Check raise range. And then so we're going to shove. Oh, that is not fun. Mm, we'll be double barreling. He has some 7 4, 7 8, 7 5. He has some 6x we want to get value from. And we're not going to be able to get them on later streets. 7 8 people. Don't know whether he's just raising to get more folds. Some people will do that. Come on. No joy against Nauru. Over bet. Well, we don't need to continue with his hand. We only have a straight possibility. Again, the players don't recognize what is going on today. Does anyone know? This is like the softest session I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't think I'm winning though. Um, this is a cool... Uh, I'll be going for 
waiting for barrels with Queen 2, lots of overs to come. <sighs> Not going to be continuing there. This is definitely copyrighted, Nicole. Non-copyrighted music. I think we're going to play this every stream. Again, guy raises, checks ace, eight eight. I mean, ah, oh, suddenly bets. Not fooling anyone. Could check raise if you know that players are going to defend or bet quite heavily. But that's 7 8. It's not copyrighted. Perfect. We're playing this every stream. Anyone be getting on the Christmas movies yet? Some classics. I was trying to do a Home Alone meme for you guys, but unfortunately it is copyrighted. We could not do it. Um, the thing is, this guy is such a whale. I don't know if I'm going to get away with the three barrel here, but... Um, can he fold? Jack X. Um, I guess we're going for it. I mean... Well... <laughs> And as you can see, he got. Uh, well, that sucks. Um, I think it's going to work against most opponents. Against one pair hands. So, I think it's fine. I think if we say that we should then fold, it's probably a bit results oriented. We have to go against what we think against most opponents. Get raised. I'm hoping it has some sort of diamond draw. Checks now. Be five four. Um, I'm gonna check as well. And now we're obviously raising, hoping he does have the diamond draw, or the hit is six four. Snap cool. There we go. Binga banga bongo. Music that came out before 1923 is not copyrighted. Thank you for that amazing fact there, Nicole. Looks like we're going to have Mozart's classics next week. We need to change our stream, Nicole. Get it some Christmas theme. Um, well, I was just thinking, should I bother doing this against this type of player? But I think um, anyone who's limping with a decent frequency, you can do this. Yeah, I think we need to get, need to get snowflakes falling on the stream got Naru again. Looks like we could be in for a bit of a match. Yeah, snowflakes, I think. It's not going to be fun if the button calls again here. Pretty brick turn. Great barrel card. <laughs> uh, no, sir, it is not one BB. It's gonna suck if players do this with like eight X and then just decide to call off anyway.
Just gonna take a bit of initiative against an unknown. Snap cool. Hmm. River's not the best. I have to call this. see how we're doing. Just halfway almost through the stream. Let's see if we're managing to get anywhere. No, no, we're just steadily losing against all the <laughs> all of the fish. Min race. Could mini min raise against his draws and other things. Maybe I think that's probably better because he's just not folding, and then it would be an easy shove on the turn. Like, don't think about theoretically what is considered best to do size-wise. Like, if you want to just click it back, click it back. I mean, that was probably the highest EV play in that spot. He's min raise. He's never folding to like a couple more BB, and then on turns you can just be getting it in. This is a pretty small bet. Uh, but yeah, forget sizings and all that against I know it's just try and figure out yourself like what is gonna be the highest DV play in this spot. You don't have to there's no like rules in poker, you know, especially in no limit. There are absolutely no rules. You can do whatever you want. And against unknowns and fish you definitely wanna be thinking about that. Well, we split with 10s, you shouldn't be banking too many 4x's, bunch of draws. I also can have a lot of draws that will fold that turn. Uh. I mean, he has to be on some 3 barrel bluff, right? I don't think players are capable enough in general of just three barreling when we're calling. Maybe we have fours there. I think I'm going to delay this one. Club River, I think it's quite a good jam. And obviously we just run into that. Not really much to be done there, I don't think. Not really much to be done. He's doing quite well against this, this Naru. Five X. Three X. So weird. Well, we hit top pair. Checks. Looks like he's got an under pair. Or he's trapping. I think we're just gonna bet bet it off. There's lots of draws there that we can have. The only one that really gets there that you'd be concerned with is Jack-10. Obviously the Queens and Nines are not the best cards because those, those are some of his check back pocket pairs maybe, but we're still going for it. Might have a Queen that calls. Wow, he just checks King Jack. I mean, so brutal. So he's doing good against us. Um, 
five high, gonna be betting. now can't call killing us they're killing us nothing we can do people have just got the nuts every hand so far that's all right come back from this one I don't think this guy has folded many buttons he calls anyway not the best board to be honest but if we hit some equity we're gonna be shoving it off Wow, he flops the straight on us. Again, no joy. He's thinking. We're checking it back. Worst turn we can possibly see. Good chance we're still ahead, though. two pair probably not so he's basically parting some diamond or and he was thinking a lot on the flop um i'm just gonna let that one go finally seeing some players we recognize now unfortunately suited pretty easy nice turn for us oh chopping on the river no good threes pretty easy prison what do I have about min raise river bluff river squeeze 25 BB make sure to make notes on players especially the guys you're playing regularly it can make a big difference tend to use shorthand formats, you know, BBB, MR, min raise, three bet squeeze you can see here. Anything you can make a note of really that will help you in terms of ranges. Players generally, they do the same thing over and over, they don't really adjust too much. Classic Christmas tunes. You can thank Nicole. Uh, back doors, we're calling. Checks. Question is, when I want to start turning my hand into a bluff. I think we do. It's one of our worst holdings we can have there. So many bad rivers for us. Check, check. Uh, I could just start blasting here, but I think I'm going to check. Be pretty wild with the old 5 4 off. Be honest. Don't really like those spots, but not really much he can do. He's pretty much a reg. And he obviously doesn't have the nut range there. Like aces, kings, or whatever, he obviously doesn't have those. Obviously a good card for Monarch's range, but we can outdraw, and I think this is one we're just going to have to barrel off, blocking some of the nut straights, and 
it's gonna have to call us like two pair. If he wants to make a light call, like 10-9 could be. 10-6 would be tough for him. Like he's gonna need two pair basically. Most players, even regs, like not very capable of calling those spots that light. Hit the nine, that's nice. Could just be trapping. Generally, oh, King 7 7 when he has a chance to bet and bluff the flop, probably has something, so it kind of blows. Um... <sighs> just wondering whether I want to bluff shove the river. Um, I think if he thinks about it, a line doesn't like make that much sense because we probably lead turns there with the flush. You know, like, let's just put it back up. Uh, this is obviously cool. Ooh, this is horrible. But I think we're cool. We're ahead of all the overs and, ooh, okay, well, we have to call now. Ahead of all the overs with hearts, with that ace eight diamonds. Um, let's just go here. Let's see if I can put it up for you guys. Yeah, like I would lead probably all my flush draws in the turn there on the checked flop, right? So really, the only thing I can have is like seven x of spades, nine x of spades that checks, and some of those may be bet as well. So my river raise doesn't make that much sense, like check shoving, but I don't think he can really figure that out to be honest, which is why I kind of went with that line. Um, I'm going to check this one. This one I'm going to start betting now. Uh, obviously calling, bunch of draws. 6-5 and the spades get there, but also like 10-8 misses, 10-6 misses, 8-5 misses, 6-4, uh, sorry, 6-3 misses, 5-3 misses. Uh, so I'm just going to call. Wow, he tries to value bet with that. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to be able to fold. So I think I'm just going to check. He did have his worst holding. Maybe he could have got away with it. Pretty interesting. He value bets that on that spade river. I'm going to make a note. Off. Like, he's not gonna have too many hands that can call. Jackson Soup, I'm pretty sure, has to call, which sucks. Uh, that's a good river. I'm just. It's a bit over barreling, but I'm going for it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, this should be a call. I'm just trying to think whether we want to call it against him. Uh, fine. So, when he calls turn, yeah, he just gets there with the river. Well, that sucks. That sucks for sure. Uh, yeah, we are really not winning these hands, unfortunately. Crushing us. We are waking up just against a lot of nut range when we look at the hands they're calling with, like... Uh, I think this one we're going to put some pressure on. Open enter, backdoor club. Ooh, this is a bit sucky. Uh, I think we're calling. He doesn't have aces. 1.5. Nope. I think that one's just on the edge. Don't really the big blind, so I think we can play a little bit wider on the button here. Don't forget 
join our Discord, guys. We launched it yesterday. Be in there after this stream. Betting uh, here. Put the link in the chat for you. value bet and equity protect. I expect him to bluff. Uh, that's interesting. Raise. Um, don't really get it, but okay. Now it's even less likely that he has a queen. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Wow. So you literally just check back like queen four, queen five or something. Raising a 10. I mean, when I call a raise, he must expect me to have something, right? I just don't think players are capable of bluffing this spot enough over pot, so. I really wanted to call there. I just don't think players are capable enough at this level. Like, he could be attacking, like, my capped range, expecting me to just bet flops with, like, Queen X. Uh, wow, doesn't even value bet his set. That is scared money. putting pressure on this guy. Mm, I think we'll play small ball against him. <sighs> Pretty bad run out. Pretty bad run out there. So this one I am gonna three bet. Cut shot with the nine X. Just thinking about it. It's not a bad board for a sweet hit the two. Seven X. Is he turning his hand into a bluff? Uh... <laughs> oh my god, this guy sets on us again. <laughs> we are running into the stone cold nuts almost every hand here. I think we can fold a lot of Ace X's over cards there. Doesn't really hit much. Raising every hand. Uh, well, open ended. Just thinking about whether it's just cool and just donk turn all in, make it more difficult for him. And this time he hits on us and we can't outdraw him. Just not running super good. This can happen for extensive periods. 
especially in spins. So, just going to have to get used to it. And the higher your EV, the less this will happen, so really work on your game. Lower your win rate in games, the higher your variance. And the bigger bankroll you're going to need because of it, so really work on the win rate. Win rate. Probably had a queen high. Yeah, he had a queen two. I'm surprised he doesn't bet that. He had the queen of hearts there. I think he should be betting. It's making it pretty cheap for me. stack to pot ratio, there's not really much we can do. Ace of spades, betting this one. here with the king three of diamonds. He's trying to think what he can do against us. with three. There's too many draws that miss, so. but it just ends up having two pair, <laughs> as is the story of the stream so far. Uh, Queen of Clubs is kind of good in that hand because uh, I don't expect him to bluff Queen high flush draws. Double barrel. Or at least, like, you shouldn't really. Wow. Really not going so well.
but it only takes one. Uh, we're going to have to just get this one in 4.5 BB. Just hope we're up against the worst hand. <laughs> we're up against aces. <laughs> oh, we get lucky though. This time, luck is in our favour. Don't want to play a big part here. Now we do instant checks. Doesn't look like he has very much at all. I think I'm going to check. Try and encourage some bluffs. Again, coming up against it. Managing to win the flip there. Nice little soft game here on the left. Don't recognize any of the players. start banking some wins. Absolutely abysmal so far. Half pot pretty interesting. Should usually size a bit lower. Checks, it's a bit strange. Um, just wondering if we should value a bet. Like, is he going to call us light with like ace high? I think I'll determine the bet sizing myself. Maybe he calls us ace high, and now he just jams. It's just so weird. But I mean, obviously, we can't call. so easy today. This is where the decisions really count though when you're always put in tough spots like can you still keep making the discipline folds. It's usually where you make the most money it's not when you're running good it's when you're running bad. Is no joy. <laughs> nice game though, open ended with three four one to barrel. Music's good and the tables have nice graphics, very calming. And we want to see about this, I think we do. I think we're going to check raise here. We have lots of good turns. Doesn't hit his range that well. Does somehow call cool, though. That's a very good turn for us. It smashes our range versus him. <laughs> we see raising here. How is this possible? Uh, well, we have to call. We've got an open ender. Could potentially raise, but I just don't think players in his spot are raised bluffing often enough there. Got the gut shot here. I mean, to call. Obviously, I'm going to fold all in. It's just pretty insane how we can come up against it in that spot.
<laughs> we can win with the A tie. <laughs> I was thinking if you have half bots or something, I was thinking to just check Ray's bluff maybe. <laughs> Let me win it with the A high. Let's see what he has here. Let's know what he's playing against me. So he's playing a bit wide. Bad turn. Nine seven, eight seven, eight four. We'll get there. Obviously, a very good river. We're just looking for value from five x, random eight x that somehow snap checks. Maybe you should size down a little. I'm just gonna add another game. Before I call this all in, try and not get him in the games, and we did. Go. Looks like a pretty good game. Definitely something to think about, as always. Your registration, you know, it's three max. Some of these players are playing multi tables. You want to avoid some of the bad players, like. Just don't understand how much your EV gets killed just by having one reg in a three-handed game. It really does burn your profit. So you've got to do whatever you can to avoid that. Remove all ego and just remember why you're playing poker. I mean, if you want to play good players and that's your aim, then go go for it. But uh, if you want to play for money, then just try and avoid them as much as possible. Suited. I think we'll open up one more and leave it at that and finish. See if we can get a big finish. Back doors here with the 10 line suited. Going to take a check back. Not a great turn. I think we'll put the pressure on with a straight draw. 9 2 suited. Just check folding. Um, now we might go for it with the checks. Um, sizable bet. If he calls us with some underpair or ace high, then okay. Oh, uh, mm -mm. we've seen this a bunch from like aces and all these other hands. It really sucks, but like, it's not really thing we do. We just call. I mean, even regs, you just don't see them bluffing often enough in these spots. Just have to call for the size. Just blast in now, then like we'll just fold, whatever. Like you're just gonna see the nuts so often there. I mean, you know, you can even think, can I can I fold nines in that spot? Like, is that something I should be able to do? I think against the player pool, it might not actually be so horrendous. Um, is a 15 BB. Just have to get it in. Don't want to play a flop. I think we might check raise this one. Delay C bet. Basically, double gutter. Since he didn't bet the flop, he probably doesn't have a strong hand, so we're gonna put a lot of pressure on his range. Snap check, pretty standard. Ace X board, as always. Guy raises, checks an Ace X board. Pretty much always has something. Making a 
super small bet here. I recognize this name, I think it's a reg. Um, so he's, and, and we don't block the backdoor diamonds, so backdoor diamonds, backdoor hearts, so I think we can bet a bit more on these boards. If we had a king of diamonds, king of hearts there, then it's going to reduce his cool range quite a chunk. I think, since we're doing pretty well and the SPR is pretty low, I'm just going to take a check back. Hopefully he hits or decides to bluff us. I think now we just shove. I mean, he doesn't have really many worse 3x that limit calls. I mean, ace 3 you doubt it. So we'll just put him in. He's going to fold most of the time. But maybe he finds a call with like Queen Jack there or something. sucks to fold so much equity but um, we don't have a diamond so I think we have to fold. I think if I had a di 10 of diamonds there I'd probably call. Uh, he 3x'd me right so I think in this spot I'm betting against his overs and spades. Reevaluating river. as well. Super dry board but he is going to call. Lots of hands that fold the turn. Right let's try and finish on some wins. Try and salvage something. All right ace queen let's go. Going to be super ahead of his range. We get three way call. So we chop that. Right, we're going to take on Edward now. Going to be punishing the limp. I have seen him before. I don't know if it's a reg or not. The calling Jack 7 suited. Not to that size. <laughs> I might check raise this board. His bet's quite big, so I think I'm gonna just cool now. spot where we basically have to call. He's going to have some better spades in his hand, but our equity is too good. Um, again, we're just going to value 10 ourselves if we bet, so I'm just going to check. Probably has a 9, a strong 9. He had 8s. Pretty well, interesting that he double barrels 8s there. I think that's not so good. Especially with the, that turn just really smashes the cool range. Um, I think we just bet this one, make our life easy. don't see him folding a 9 or a 7 to the spot, we're going to have to just like shove or something, so he yeah, has a 10. I'm surprised he doesn't do something there. get lucky so far 
<laughs> okay, we do manage to get there. Alright, heads up in the last 275s. If we take both of these, we'll salvage something at least from the session. Let's now. Baddy. I want to ICU, but I don't really know too much. Uh, I think we're just going to raise this. Check, check. Okay, well. Pretty quick bet, but we have to kind of bluff catch here. It's too strong. Please fold, please fold. That's what we're thinking right now. He does call. It's a pretty good board for us. It's going to be a bet fold though. Alright, Ace Jack. Um, nice one over the Ace Jack. Just thinking whether to bet the Queen 10. for another ISO. I guess this guy hasn't folded a button yet. Gonna check. Gonna be head some of his queen highs. Problem is he can like delay 8x as well. Some worse, some bad jack x like you see. He checks the flop with that. Uh, gonna be betting getting this in. I could check the queen. 10 on the turn but I think he starts betting himself with the jack x anyway. Um, Checking now, just going to value down myself with a 5. I'm just hoping he has some sort of 5 or 3. Can I get a 6 to fold? I think he bets always with a 4 on the river, so I'm going to turn it into a bluff. Like most players against the turn checks there, are just going to bet the river, so with their straights. There. Come on. Let's get that win in. Oh, no joy. Uh, I'm going to bet against worse tens and try and dictate the bet sizing. No, not managing to get that one. That blows, and now running into Queen 6. It really has been a tough, tough session. Buddy, let's see what we can do. Don't forget our Discord, guys. We launched it yesterday. We'll be discussing it in there. Uh, let's see. think we're going to delay against this guy. This board hits his range pretty hard. Now he just jams. Um, yeah, not really much we can do with the jack of hearts. He'll jam some better hearts there. We'll obviously call this one. The classic flip. Oh, he gets counterfeited. We'll take that. Ending on a rare win for the session. Uh, pretty tough one there. Lots of really interesting spots. I'm interested myself to see in the highlights. Uh, definitely tested in a lot of the situations. I hope you enjoyed the stream, got something out of it. Um, watch out for next week. We will be live commentary again on Wednesday, spins again on Thursday. Um, yeah, check out Discord. We'll be in there chatting uh, with you if you want to join us. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all having fun and a good week and enjoying the festive spirits. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye bye.